what a night. Those of you who watched the NBA draft are probably still shocked at all the trades and all the drama that unfolded in what was probably the most shocking overall draft in recent memory. A Canadian was drafted number one. Never happened before it in the NBA. never happened before, and it might happen again next year with Andrew Wiggins, by oh, the way. Oh, it will but, happen. Uh, you know, you look at Anthony Bennett. Everybody thought New Orleans Noel. Bennett, who's being pictured right now, uh, 19 years old from UNLV. But this kid is a, is a true uh, power forward, I think. A, a little bit trapped in a small forward's body. Uh, the question is, 260 pounds, can he play outside, can he play inside? Really efficient score, though, and quite honestly, even though New Orleans Noel was supposed to go one, I'm talking about this in my draft grades, I didn't think he was a number one pick or even a top three guy. So, didn't hate the Bennett pick, didn't love it. It's, it's a big wild card. It was a shocker. No one thought Bennett no. was going number one. He has the talent, though, to go one. And, you know, oftentimes in a draft like this where there's not necessarily perceived true star power, you've got to take a flyer. You and swing for the did. fences. And, and, and that's an important point. This is considered to be one of the weakest drafts in the last 20 years. I mean, yeah. there's no superstar on the table. There's no camp yeah. miss pick. And there are but very there's a lot of depth. There's a lot of depth. There's a lot of guys who may end up being six men. There are yeah. a lot of guys who could end up being serviceable role players. Somebody who end up like playing for the Spurs and, and killing us in five yeah. years. Yeah. But but nobody who's who's a can't miss. And so you, you take some risk. But you mentioned Nerlens Noel. Yeah. Uh, Look, Noel ends up <laughs> with your team, right? Uh, Philadelphia. And a lot of people thought that he would go one or in the top three. He's another project. Uh, you know, the concerns there are the ACL. He's 215 pounds. And he's 6'11". He's got to put on weight. But his frame is very narrow, Mark, and I do wonder if that's going to bother him. He's a 6'11 center. Uh, he tore his ACL back in February. Yeah. He's not going to even play opening day. Until Christmas. Until Christmas at yeah. best, right? That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a yeah. generous forecast. And he's going to uh, – he, he dropped from number one, number two, went all the six. way down to number six. Yeah. Uh, again, a curious – sort of choice, but he was drafted by the, by, the, by uh, who drafted him? The Pelicans. Uh, Pelicans drafted him, and you thought originally they would team up with Anthony Davis. Uh, right. Former Have like guy. a twin tower thing going on. The, the thing about Noel is that uh, there's, there is upside there to be an elite shot blocker, but he's got no offensive game. Uh, he's very raw, and, and I just don't think he has a great feel. Uh, th th there's a lot of scouts out there that liked him because of the upside, and that's what the draft. Uh, what's it, who, who's he, who, who could he be as his upside? Are we talking about Alonzo Mourning, Dikembe Mutombo? Uh, you know, there is some there is some Mutombo there. No offense. Uh, right. I don't think he's Mourning because Mourning can still score a little bit. And he was a lot thicker. Um, the worst case scenario was Hashim to beat, and I don't think he's going to be that bad because he's more athletic, a little more agile. But and he has a higher basketball IQ. I, I think he does, but the reason he slipped from one potentially to six was because of the ACL.